Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the nPer function. Now the nPer function stands for the number of periods and basically this function lets you figure out how many payments are necessary or how many payment periods are necessary to pay off a loan. So this may be very common in situations where we are buying a car and let's say that you are given an interest rate of 3% and you're trying to figure out well the, the most I can pay is maybe $200 a month and the loan that I'm going to get from the car dealership or the loan finance part of the car dealership is $8,000. Now how many months will I have to go paying $200 a month? Well that's where the NPER function comes into play. So all we need to do is type e equal NPR and I'm just going to go ahead and do hit the tab key just to have it create a parenthesis and opening parenthesis for me the rate I'm going to take from here now this is an annual rate so we'll have to reduce that down to a monthly rate so what we do is divided by 12 12 months in a year that will give our that will give us our monthly rate our next argument is the payment so the payment is $200 and the reason why we have a minus $200 is you have to think of it from the point of view of your pocket this is going to minus $200 from your pocket you're going to give $200 away. The next argument is present value. So this is the loan amount. This is the value uh, that they're going to give us. So in, in essence, really, the financing arm of the dealership is going to give us $8,000 to buy this car. So that stays positive, and that's not going to have a negative there. So for the third argument here is the present value. And basically, this is the value that the financing arm is going to give us. They're going to give us $8,000 to buy this car. So I'm going to select that value there and I don't really need to have any of these other values, these other arguments, the FV which is future value and the type because these are optional. I'm going to assume that this uh, is going to be enough. Our three arguments here so I'm going to do a close parentheses, press return and what we see now is there's going to be 42.2 monthly payments in essence really maybe 43 monthly payments when we pay off this car. So that's how you can create it. So if you're ever in a dealership or you want to kind of calculate beforehand before you get into the dealership to kind of figure out if you can only pay a certain amount and this is the interest rate they're going to give you and this is how much you want to loan or get a loan for, you can kind of figure out yourself and see if the calculations are being done correctly at the financing arm, how many months of payments you would have to do to buy your car. Maybe something like this or something more appropriate for your particular situation. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.